All right guys, so you might notice that the range of your remote is not that far. I'm gonna show you how you can fix that. Okay, so to get started, all you have to do is remove this cover right here and it's held in by two screws, one right there and one right there. So after you remove those screws, take the cover off and you have access to the alarm area. Now I just took this cover off because uh, or this whole side sill off because I'm, I'm making a video so just so I can have a little better um, angle for you guys I did that extra work for you guys so let me set this aside real quick and so getting back to this now this is the access port that you will have um, be very very careful these edges are extremely sharp especially down here you will definitely cut yourself um, so you can either tape this up and um, wear, wear like uh, gloves, you know, like motorcycle gloves if you have a motorcycle or um, just some heavy duty uh, automotive gloves. So next you will see a big foam piece right here and with your gloves on you want to push this as far back as you can, kind of exposing this wire. So. Uh, once you have your foam block pushed out, it's very difficult to pull it out. So if you pull, uh, push it all the way to the end, it'll be probably a little better for you. And to the right, you will see the Cobra alarm system box. That's the brains of the unit, I think. One of them at least. Um, so that is the box right there. And you will see that the harness is coming out from here. And it is taped up. Let me try to get that for you guys. So you can see that the harness is taped up over here. This is the harness. And you will try to find this wire right here. This black wire, this is the antenna wire. It's about six inches uh, from the unit. And it just sits behind this sill. So what happens is aluminum kind of blocks, um, kind of blocks frequencies of radio transmitters, and it's hard for that signal to get past the aluminum. And they decided to put this all the way down here and cover it with a whole bunch of aluminum. So not really the best idea for range. Um, so what you guys want to do is uh, find this wire. Usually, it's these other wires are taped. And this is just running alongside it. And I believe on the Lotus Talk forums, it says that that is coming out of pin number 13 from that connector. If you guys somehow are able to get that free and look at the pins for however reason, it's, it's number 13. So uh, what you want to do, you take this right here. Um, you, you can do this a couple different methods, but you can either... Um, you use your wire strippers and cut this end right here uh, and and solder on a wire just any other regular wire will do like like this for example like any strand wire or solid core wire um, just basically you're attaching this and making this longer and what you want to do with that is route it out your windshield and somewhere around here or just route it alongside your windshield up here um, that will give you the best uh, reception. So, um, yeah, you can take your wire strippers and cut that, or you can also get one of those connectors, um, you know, butt connector or whatever, and, you know, crimp it, um, I'm sorry, uh, connect it there and heat. make sure it's one of those types that you have heat shrink on it so you don't get any moisture or anything into that wire and possibly cause some corrosion. So, um, and the other method is to just simply tap into it with uh, a wire tap and route it along the wire. So one other thing is um, you guys could send it up through here, up to, to the dash, or um, that that's where I would honestly do it. But um, you can also route it all the way down here and have it come out of this part right there. So. The quickest way to find out where that comes from is shine a flashlight up here and 
look through here and you can see where light comes out of and basically that would be your entrance port you can just slip a wire through and catch it and attach it that way so uh, let's let's wire this up and see how our remote works after this so I routed the antenna wire right here alongside the window frame going up to the visor now let's go see if our range has increased before I used to uh, have to be at the driver's door in order for it to detect the key fob so let's try it from here where it actually failed during our initial test so if it works from here then that means our range has uh, successfully been increased so here it goes there's a key fob right here and yep definitely did so uh, we actually did manage to get uh, an extra bit of range uh, some people have reported that they've gotten about 100 feet or more of extra range so that's that's amazing so uh, if if this would really help you go ahead and do this mod it's really really easy and it's gonna be it's one of those annoying things about the car where it just takes a few minutes you know to to uh, to accomplish and you know within 20 30 minutes you'll have an increase of range and in the long run that's gonna be way less annoying for you in the future you know if you're sitting and you see some people coming up to your car, you could, you know, hit the panic button. You'll actually reach it instead of having to, you know, internally scream. So um, there you guys go. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it helps you guys out. Thank you very much. Okay, so the panels are back on and we're going to test it one more time just to see if uh, having the panels off made any difference at all with the reception of the antenna wire. So we're going to test it right now and see if it made any difference. Again, we were all the way over here and it was working. So let's test it one more time. Here we go. And it still works. So um, everything works great. And that concludes this video.